Hey guys, all right, so today I got totally, totally inspired when I looked out the window and it was pouring rain, and then I looked on the weathernetwork.com and it was pouring all weekend. So today's gonna be a video about all day makeup and how to keep your makeup on all day, all the primers for your face, your eyes, everything. I'm gonna be talking about all of that, all of the long wear products, and definitely a finishing spray at the end. Because I mean, when we put work into doing our face and our makeup and how we look, we want it to stay Perfect. And I know everyone's in school, everyone started their jobs, and when I have a super, super busy day, I have to have all of my primers and all of my products just to make sure that my face is gonna stay on and I'm gonna look good throughout the day and I'm not gonna look like a busted train wreck at 1 p.m. So, we are going to start with the primers. And this is definitely the first step that you wanna do before you apply any of your makeup. Wash your face, moisturize, and then you gotta prime. Primers will help to like adhere the foundation that you're putting on your face, um, and it helps to like fill in lines and pores and all that good stuff, so you definitely need a primer and personally I like to look for ones that are oil free one of my favorites ever in the entire world is the MAC matte cream and it looks like this it reminds me of like kindergarten like the little tubes paint would come in but yeah this stuff is really really good I think it's silicone based I don't know there's like no ingredients on this thing what do they put in this poison? Your foundation is gonna love you for putting on a primer before you put it on. It's honestly one of the key steps to having makeup all day and you can try it, do a day without primer and then do a day with, you'll die. All right, so another one that is one of my all-time favorites is by Makeup Forever and it's called All Matte Base Matifiant Visage. Oh wait, I read the French. Face Mattifying Primer, Oil Free. As I said, you wanna look for an oil free one. This one's kind of cuter packaging. It's like a little bit, like they tried a little bit more, you know? <laughs> But yeah, this is nice. It's like a little frosted glass. Um, and this is basically the same thing. I prefer if I was on a desert island and I only had to use one face primer, I would definitely choose the MAC one. But I mean, if I was on a desert island, let's get real, I'd be trying to get a coconut cracked open so I could actually survive. But anyways, this stuff is really, really great. All you need is one squirt and look at how little this is. Do you see that? That's like nothing. And when you rub it in, it's so smooth and so nice. And it just, I don't know. When I, it just feels really silicone-y. And, and anyone that knows how this feels, it smells amazing. It feels, a, it smells a little bit more perfumey. It smells a little bit more perfumey than the MAC one, which is what I like, but the MAC one's better. But this one's also really, really, really great. If you can find one that says matte on it, you're 100% good, so don't worry about that. All right, so next thing I'm gonna talk about is eyeshadow primers. And honestly, on a daily basis, I always get asked, what is your favorite eyeshadow primer? And I have tried all of them. I mean, I've tried Primer Potion, I've tried Too Faced, I've tried a bunch of other random ass brands, but these are my two favorite. All right, so this one is Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and it looks like this. And you guys know that I have used this in my other videos and my tutorials and stuff like that. It looks like this. It's just really, really cute packaging. It's all preference for eyeshadow bases, but you definitely want to get a good one because you can tell. I mean, honestly, it is the worst thing when I'm talking to someone. Whether it be I just met them or I know them, it's like, girl, if your eyeshadow is creased, it's like the worst look possible. Like, it's like the absolute worst. Like, I'm just looking at you and you have black in your crease. And girl, you're not wearing black eyeshadow. It's the eyeliner. It is... So sad, I could literally ball my eyes out for you. So you definitely need an eyeshadow base if you want your eyeshadow to stay on all day. I mean, even if you're not wearing like a dramatic look or anything like that and you don't have eyeshadow base on, it can look like really nasty after like five or six hours, even if you don't have greasy lids. Like, I know I don't have greasy lids, but like if I don't like take care of that area, it looks <laughs> disgusting. So, I just hit my chandelier. Hmm. Anyways, another favorite, favorite, favorite eyeshadow base of mine is the Michael Todd eyeshadow base. And the reason I like it so much is because it's super, super thick. Like, I know that the primer potion is really, really thick. Like, it's thicker than the Too Faced. But this is, like, ultra thick. And it's, like, almost like a mousse. So it's, like, when you put it on your lids, it's just, like, it's really nice. I know people, some people like, like, the watery effect of the Too Faced. And, I mean, I have days where I like that, too. But this is one of my ultimate favorites. You guys definitely have to try. This eyeshadow base is epic. Can you hear the whistling right now? It's literally the war of the world outside. But anyways, um, I'm talking about makeup inside. This concealer, I feel like everyone needs a good, long-lasting concealer. But for days like this especially, when it's so humid and I feel like my face is going to be melting off my skin, you definitely need a good concealer because, I mean, I know on days like this where I feel sweaty and I feel disgusting and, and I don't want to get, like, overly glam or anything, I just use a really good concealer and then a powder and then I use my finishing spray. Um, and then that's all I wear. Like, no foundation or any of that just because it's, like, it, it'd be too heavy and I'd end up sweating off. But anyways, 
Um, this concealer is one of my all-time favorites, and I absolutely hate. Anyone that knows me knows that I hate matte concealers. I just don't like them. But their new Pro Longwear Concealer is absolutely gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's in a glass container, and it looks like this. This stuff wears for so, so long. Like, it's retarded. Ridiculous. I'll pump it on the back of my hand and then put it on my face and like blemishes or whatever um, And like I'll have to literally scrub it off my hand That's how you know it's a good concealer and in this I'm wearing NC 25 So if any of you are wondering this concealer is epic Okay, so moving on to the very last step a step that I feel like a lot of people skip when they actually shouldn't is a finishing spray So the finishing spray I have been using for months and I absolutely cannot leave the house without spraying my face at least five times because I get a little crazy, is the Scandinavia, and this sounds like Scandinavia to me, that's what I always think about. Scandinavia, Scandinavia. And let me tell you guys the story behind this. I have a friend who's a makeup artist. She does more than anything like weddings and bridal work and stuff like that, and she had a finishing spray. I was going through her kit, obviously. I go through my friend's makeup bags and um, like purses all the time. Tell me if you guys do that in the comments, because I know it's bad, but it's so interesting, sorry. But anyways, she had a finishing spray, and on it, it said bridal. So I was like, oh, it probably makes you look so flawless. So I was like, okay, tell me the brand and like I'm gonna get it because I'm a bride every day. You know what I mean? I don't care. I need to have flawless glowing skin every day. You know what I mean? How dare you just use it for the bridal people? So anyways, she told me that it was Scandinavia and I was like, honestly, I've heard about that before, but it looked different. So this is the Scandinavia I have. It's a black label, whereas it was like a blue or a white one, I'm pretty sure. But I like this packaging way better, to be honest. I feel like, well, it goes with my room. So yeah, I went on the site and I did a little research and there is a bridal one, but there's so many other kinds of Scandinavia finishing spray. Like there's like an oily one, there's like a one for dry skin, moisture, um, there's a bridal one as I said, there's one that makes you look younger, like 10 years younger for like people that are like 50 that need to look 40. But yeah, my skin really isn't anything. If anything, it's dry, but I don't want to add moisture to it because I just feel like that'd be weird. And my skin isn't overly oily where I would have to buy like the oil-free one. So I just bought the regular one, the makeup finishing spray, as you can see there. But yeah, I just used the original one, but I've heard that the oily one works vandas on people's skin. It says up to 16 hours, ultra fine long wear, and that is something that I love about this finishing spray. I've tried like the Kat Von D one and like maybe another one. I tried like the Evian water one. They're all disgusting. They're too, I just feel like, because I do my hair before I do my makeup, so it's like, You've got to be kidding me. Like, you've got to be kidding me. I do my makeup, and then I'm supposed to spray, like, water in my hair? Hell no. That's stupid. This is so fine. I can spray it all over, and then if I feel my hair, it's, like, not wet. Because it's so, so fine. I don't know. I don't know what's in here, but it's, like, amazing. And, yeah, it says on the back, apply your makeup, shake well, and spray. Eight inches away from your face. And I don't know how many, it says two to four times, but I probably do it about like six to seven because I just love it. And honestly, I feel like finishing sprays are one of the most underrated all day makeup secrets. The way I look at it is that like if I'm going to do a primer, I need to do my finishing spray and I just don't feel like content without it. I get so many comments and compliments on my skin. Thank you guys so much. But I mean, this is what really, really like locks it in and makes it stay forever. <laughs> so I'm going to do a demonstration just because I want it on my skin. It's like a nice like cooling effect. Like it's like it's addictive. So basically you just shake it and then you hold it like, I'd say this far away and then you spray. Ah! It's so nice, it's so nice. It's like a pick me up, you know what I mean? And also, do you know Gaga uses this shit? Please, I was researching as I said little Bill Nye the Science Guy here. So yeah, I was researching it and I found out that Lady Gaga uses it every night on stage and I remember seeing her in concert and I was like, um, I would be sweating my ass off. And I was like, why is every part of her sweating uh, but her face? Like her chest would be drenched and like her body would be like sweating but her face would be like nice. I don't know, it's really... This stuff is like magic, I'm telling you guys. So yeah, I hope that all of my all-day makeup advice helped you guys for your long, busy days where you feel like your makeup is sweating off your face. Don't worry, because all of these products that I told you in this video will make your skin look amazing and keep it on for up to 16 hours, which is epic. So yeah, if you guys have any long wear makeup tips, definitely leave them in the comments, and I will definitely try to check out those products. But until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.